Uh, <coughs> welcome students. Today uh, we are going to discuss the application of the nuclear fission. I explained in the last lecture that process very well. I explained the different types of nuclear fission, the fast nuclear fission, the slow nuclear fission, and some other types. Uh, and then the problem was that uh, uh, I explained in the last lecture that when one fission occurs, then three neutrons are generated and the three uh, can cause the fission of further three during the nuclei and uh, so on. If we do not stop the reaction, if we do not control the reaction, then it may explode and it happens in the nuclear bomb in the atomic bomb. But if we control it, if the chain reaction is controlled, then we can use the nuclear fission uh, for the benefit, for the useful purposes. Uh, today, uh, we are going to discuss the topic, the nuclear reactors. What are nuclear reactors? A device in which control fission of the radioactive material like uranium-235 or uranium-238 takes place and a manageable amount of energy is released at the steady and slow speed. <coughs> it is called the nuclear reactor. So what's a nuclear reactor? A device, a furnace, apparatus, in which control fission of the radioactive material occurs, takes place, and we get a manageable amount of energy. It's called the nuclear reactor. What are the applications of nuclear reactor? Uh, mostly in our mind is that the nuclear reactors are built for the production of energy, for the generation of electricity. Uh, it's only the one type of nuclear reactor. Not all reactors are designed to generate the electricity. The reactor which is designed to generate electricity is called the nuclear power plant, nuclear power reactors. But the nuclear reactors are uh, built for different purposes and we can classify the nuclear reactors or, or depending upon the purpose of the nuclear reactors. For example, if the nuclear reactor has been built to generate uh, some uh, uh, fissile material like the plutonium which is used in the nuclear bombs, then it is called the breeder reactors. It means we consume some material and we get another material into a large amount. It is called the breeder reactor. Uh, so, nuclear reactors uh, are different types and uh, we can classify uh, into different categories. Uh, today, uh, I will discuss the applications of the nuclear reactor radio for the production of radioactive isotopes. The nuclear power plants are built, are constructed to produce the different radioactive isotopes. For example, you know that the iodine is used in the medicine and the cobalt and some other, these are used for the radiotropy of the cancers. So these different radioisotopes are not chemically prepared. These are prepared synthetically in the nuclear reactors. So the nuclear reactor has the application that it is used to prepare different types of radioisotopes which are used in the different fields. For example, these are used in the biology, in the medicine, in the research, in other fields of sciences. And uh, second, the generation of power. As I explained that, the mainly the nuclear reactors are known or familiar uh, due to the production of electricity. And uh, these types of the nuclear reactors are called the nuclear power plants. Next, uh, the fissionable material we get here. Uh, sometimes the nuclear reactors uh, gives us some fissionable material that is used in the atomic bombs. For example, plutonium. You know that the plutonium bomb uh, is a nuclear bomb, and the plutonium uh, we can get from breeder sectors. So the reactor, nuclear reactors can also give us the fissionable materials. Uh, which are used for a destructive purpose in the nuclear bombs, in the nuclear weapons, and nuclear technology. 
Next, to provide the projectiles. Sometimes uh, in the neutral reactors we get uh, different lighter particles like the neutrons uh, which are used as a projectile to carry over different neutral reactions. What is the projectile? You know, a small particle which hits the target nucleus uh, in a neutral reaction is so, uh, projectile and neutrons are most commonly on projectile. And when neutron is bombarded on the nuclei, then uh, it's centered from the history that uh, uh, we got a lot of information from this neutron induced nuclear reactions. Uh, even you know that uh, a neutron uh, is bombarded on the nuclei. Fission was also discovered due to the neutron bombarded on the nuclei. So it was the application of the uses of the nuclear reactors. Now, uh, what are the different components of the nuclear reactors? <coughs> Uh, moderators, control rods, fuel elements, coolant, and shield. These are the some uh, basic parts of a nuclear reactor, and I will explain these one by one. Stop. I explained the first main component of the nuclear reactor, which is called the moderator. You know that. Uh, when the fission occurs, then on average two to three neutrons are also produced. Look at this, it's a neutron, it's a projectile, it's a slow neutron in the nuclear fission and when it hits the uranium-235, the uranium-235 undergoes the fission and we get the two fission fragments which are called barium and krypton and we get the three neutrons. These three neutrons are called the scandary neutrons. It is the starting neutron that was the slow neutron or the thermal neutron, it has less energy. But these neutrons are not the slow neutrons, so these are very fast neutrons, these have very high kinetic energy and these cannot cause the fission of uranium-235. If there is uranium-238 then the fission may occur, but for the fission of uranium-235 we always require thermal neutron, we always require the slow neutron, we require the neutron with less energy. Uh, so, uh, in this case, uh, the problem occurs here that these neutrons must be slowed down to cause the further fission. And another thing is that uh, out of three, only one neutron should be allowed to cause the fission of other uranium atom. If the fission occurs like this, it means the one produces three and the three cause the fission in the three nuclei and it produces the nine neutrons and nine further will cause the fission of nine nuclei and we will get 20 samus neutron and so on. So it gives a huge amount of energy and the vessel may explode, the reaction may explode and it happens in grid and it happens in the nuclear pumps in the atomic current burning. The nuclear reactors uh, which should produce the energy at the moderate in a manageable amount. Uh, we can't uh, afford the explosion in the nuclear uh, reactor. We are just interested to, to get the energy that should be used for the useful purpose. But the problem, uh, where the problem takes occurs. Uh, look at this. Uh, uh, when uh, the neutrons are very fast and uh, uh, what type of neutron? Which are the scantling. So, we are to slow down these neutrons. And how can we slow down these neutrons? We use the material in the nuclear reactor core. You know that the central part where the, the moderator, coolant, and the fuel, and control or all are packed. That's the main portion enclosed in a concrete and steel walls. Uh, it is called the core, where the main reaction takes place. So, uh, to slow down these scanty neutrons, uh, some material like the graphite or the heavy water is used, and it is called the moderator. So, what is moderator? Uh, a material which is used to slow down the scanty neutron, a material which is used to uh, remove the kinetic energy of the neutron produced in the fission is called the moderator. And uh, how does this work? If we uh, use graphite as a moderator, then uh, it is called the atomic pole. 
And when we choose the heavy water as a moderator, then it is called the swimming pool reactor. Very uh, interesting term here, swimming pool uh, uh, reactor. I will explain the advice of all the swimming pool reactor. Uh, <coughs> there is a graphite here, suppose, and uh, there are holes. It's a graphite suppose casing and there are the holes here and the uranium rods are inserted into these the, the fuel rods are inserted into these the uranium 235 rods are inserted into these uh, when the fission takes place and neutrons are released the neutron uh, collides uh, with the particles of graphite with the particles of heavy water or simply with the particles of the moderator and transfer some energy to these and these are slowed down, they become uh, uh, slow down, slow. So moderator function is what? Uh, basically to slow down the neutron. You know that one neutron causes the fission of one uranium-235 nuclei. It produces three neutrons, which are called the second, uh, three secondary neutrons. And uh, the scanning neutrons uh, should be managed and in what sense this should be managed? Out of uh, three, only one neutron should be allowed to cause the fission of further uranium-235 nucleus. So uh, there are some rods which are made of boron and cadmium which absorb the excess of neutron produced in the nuclear reaction and give a manageable amount of energy are called the control rods. And uh, three neutrons, just one should be allowed to cause the further fission. Two must be absorbed in some material, and that material is uh, boron or cadmium. It is in the form of rods, and these are called control rods. So the total uh, uh, condition here is that the reaction that occurs in the core of the nuclear reactor is controlled by using the control rods. The next uh, part of the nuclear reactor is the main part which gives us energy, which gives us the isotopes, which gives us the different projectile, is the fuel element. Uh, and the fuel element is in the form of rods or the plates. And, uh, what are different types of fuel uh, which are used in the nuclear uh, reactor? You may use the uranium-235 isotope, you may also use uranium-238 uh, and uh, you may also use the plutonium and some other materials. Uh, you know that uh, the natural uranium consists of uh, uranium-235 and uranium-238. There is a very less percentage of uranium-235 in the natural uranium. So uh, we use enriched uranium and what is the enriched uranium to increase the amount of uranium-235 uh, in the natural sample of the uranium is called the enrichment of uranium and usually we use here the enriched uranium as a fuel. Uh, next part is the coolant of the heat exchanger. You know that a huge amount of energy is produced in the nuclear reactor core and to avoid explosion, we should must remove that heat quickly from the vessel. And uh, the, the component uh, which is used to remove the heat from the reactor core is called the coolant. And uh, we, some material is required to remove the heat from the core to the heat exchanger and such a material is called the Coolant. So, what is coolant? A material which transfers heat from the core to the heat exchanger is called a coolant. And uh, heat exchanger is what definitely that will seize the heat uh, from the coolant. And uh, different types of coolants are used. For example, most commonly used uh, is the liquid sodium, and we may also use the carbon dioxide gas and uh, heavy water may also be used as a coolant in the reactor core. The shield of the protective chamber. All the, uh, the moderators, 
the controlling doors and the fuel elements all were enclosed uh, in a chamber that is called the protective chamber of the shield and it is covered with the cement of the concrete. It's the last portion. I will explain uh, some other components in the uh, next lecture. Thank you very much. We can classify the nuclear reactors in different ways. Uh, there are different bases for the classification of the nuclear reactors. Today, we will also discuss the classification of uh, nuclear reactors. Nuclear reactors are classified on the basis of the nature of fuel which is used in the reactor. If natural uranium is used as a fuel, then the reactor is called a natural uranium reactor and uh, which contains only 0.72% uranium-235 and when we use the enriched uranium in the reactor, the reactor is called enriched uranium reactor and the percentage of uranium in the enriched uranium is nearly 3.5% and when we use the plutonium-239, it is called a plutonium reactor when we use the 233 so it is simply uh, what it is a classification of nuclear reactor on the basis of fuel used in the nuclear reactor. And the second way to classify the nuclear reactor is uh, on the basis of energy of neutron. Neutron energy. Slow neutrons uh, to cause a fission. And these are called the slow neutron vector. Then we use the intermediate energy. These are called the intermediate neutron vectors. And we can also use the fast neutrons uh, for the fission of uranium 238 or some other nuclei. Then it, these are called fast vectors. So slow vectors, intermediate vector, and fast vector. It is the classification. Yeah, just on the basis of energy of the neutron, which is used as the projectile. <clears throat> Slow, fast, and intermediate. We can also classify the nuclear reactor from the basis of the energy of the neutron. There are five different types of neutrons depending upon its energy. But the three are very common, the slow neutron, when the slow neutron are used as a projectile, the reactor is the called the slow neutron reactor, when we use the fast neutron for the fission, then it is called fast uh, nuclear reactor, fast neutron reactors, and when the intermediate energy neutrons are used, then it is called the intermediate nuclear reactors. And then there is another way to classify the nuclear reactor depending upon the Moderator use. When light water is used as a reactor, these are called the light water reactors. Then the heavy water is used, then these are called the heavy water reactors. So uh, if a graphite is used as a moderator, these are the called graphite reactor. So moderator uh, is also the basis for the classification uh, of the nuclear reactors. And uh, Classification is also based on the coolant use in the nuclear reactor, uh, air uh, cooled nuclear reactors, the water cooled nuclear reactors, the liquid matter cooled reactor. So the coolant that is used in the nuclear reactor is also is the basis for the classification of the nuclear reactor. Uh, and when air is used, then uh, when the water is used or the liquid matter is used. And then <coughs> Next classification is uh, the purpose of the nuclear reactors. Purpose of nuclear reactor. For example, when uh, the nuclear reactor is uh, used for the generation of electricity power then these are called power reactors and uh, power reactors these reactors are designed to generate electricity only and these are called power reactors and
sometimes uh, we are uh, interested in the extraction of isotope, extraction of plutonium, and we see that it is the plutonium extraction nuclear power plant. And uh, when, uh, sorry, when plutonium is extracted in a nuclear reactor, it is called the plutonium extractor or the plutonium extraction nuclear reactor. And similarly, for research basis or some other radioisotope preparation, then these are called isotope. It is also the classification. When the fuel and the moderator are in the same physical state, then it is called a homogeneous nuclear reactor. And when the fuel and the moderator are not in the same physical state, then it is called a heterogeneous reactor. Thank you very much.